Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and this is my uh, 2021 reading bullet journal. So here it is. Um, I, I got a bullet journal last year and it like completely flopped, completely flopped. And I figured out the reason why is because I didn't set up all of my spreads like before I needed to. So I got really busy throughout the year and I didn't find time to do a spread each month. So I've been doing all my spreads early. Now, I know I said in a previous video that I wasn't gonna do this video until I completed all of my monthly spreads, but that is getting time consuming at the moment and I'm almost done with April. So I thought I'd just show you what this is and then towards maybe the end of the year, I can show you how it looks when it's all filled up. So I got this bullet journal, I believe at Hobby Lobby one day or a craft store. I don't really remember. Um, and this is what it looks like. I just put some stickers on here. Um, you can maybe see it, maybe can't. There's like a, a bring light glare possibly. Um, this says proud romance tuber. This is from Brie from In Love and Words, her a sticker shop. She very kindly gave this some of these stickers to me for um, Christmas. This is one of them. It's coming off right here. This I realized also this this leatherish quality is not the best for stickers, which stinks. So um, my other friend, my friend Drew, he is starting up making stickers. So he made um, this butterfly, the rose, the little sun one right here, or it's a star. I don't know. Um, and he made the little cat with the butterflies. It's really cute. Um, Rapunzel is coming off right here. Um, I also had a bell one on here and then it fell off. This is not the best material for bullet journal. Now I know I need a certain type of material not this one to put stickers on because I really like stickers on journals. So here I just have my first page which just says 2021 on it. I also made the theme for this year flowers. I love flowers. So each um, month is a like botanical theme or it's a flower theme, which I absolutely adore. Um, and so then we have the table of contents and these are currently all the spreads that I have set up. Um, there are a few pages uh, towards the end of the bullet journal that I have, maybe like only a couple that hopefully by the end of the year I can maybe fill that up with something, but I don't really know. And then this I have not completed yet, obviously, but this is my books I have not read shelf. So these are all of the physical books that I actually can see on me because I have books under my bed that I haven't read yet, but I don't physically see them every day. But these are all the books on my TBR card that I have not read yet. And I acquired quite a few books in January and I have not added any of those to this. So there are a few that I need to add on here. So basically I put the title of the book on each spine that I drew here. And every time I read a book, I probably read a few of these by now, um, I will color that in hopefully based off of the book color, like the color that it is. I did this in my last year's one and I absolutely adored it. So um, I definitely wanted to continue making a giant bookshelf uh, for this year's bullet journal. Then we have kind of like a YouTube-ish or social media spread kind of. This is my subscriber tracker. Um, I really liked making this last year and so I wanted to continue on with it. I made it a little bit more fancy and organized than I did last year. Basically each month, start of the month, this is what I had, end of the month, and then the total number that I acquired. And then it just starts over for each and every month. And I really, will really like this probably by the end of the year to see how much I've grown. And I really like tracking all of that kind of stuff. Then we have my Goods Reads Challenge, which I have not colored anything in for. I'm not really updating my bullet journals until the end of every month. And so I definitely update this at the end of January. And so this is my Good Reads Challenge. 200 books is in the center. And every five books that I read, I will color in something. I am at 22 currently that I've read so far this year. And so um, I'm supposed to have that one, that one, that one, and that one colored in at least four of these things. And hopefully by the end of the year, I will have a beautiful, colorful flower. Now, these are two spreads that were kind of spur of the moment. I didn't really know what to put on these spreads. So um, I just found something. <laughs> this is my books I did not finish spread. I did like a little cloud theme. As you can see, I've already penciled in one book that I didn't finish because it was awful. <laughs> That's what I've done for the spread so far also is I've penciled in a lot of things um, because I don't like to make anything permanent until I have everything that I wanna put on this page already on it. I like to plan that out. So you'll see a bunch of penciled in stuff. And then this is going to be my five star reads page. And I have two books I believe I have to put on here so far in January. Now this spread I am very excited for. This is my memorable quotes spread. Here we have a quote from Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade, a book that I read in January that I absolutely 
adored. So anytime I find a quote that just speaks to me that I love, I am going to be putting in this spread. We flip over and these are some of my reading goals. These are not all of them. I think my 2020 reading goals video will either be out already or will be out very soon. Um, and so these are just some of the goals that I have. Read 200 books, pick a book for my TBR jar each month, get my physical TBR shelf down, read all the arcs from that I've gotten in previous years, read all of Ruby Dixon's backlist, and then write a Goodreads review for each book that I read. There are many more goals that I have that I have yet to put on this list, this uh, spread right here. And now we're getting into my um, monthly spreads. So again, I based each month off of a flowerish theme. So we're going to be going up all the way up until April, and hopefully by the end of the January spot, I can just flip through the other ones and just show you what I did. Each month has the same number of pages and same outline for each page. So when you go into January, here's my notes page. Um, if I want to write any booktube or bookish notes here, that is what this is for. Very simple, sweet. This is my new releases. Also, just want to preface by saying I accidentally used markers that were not non-bleed through ones. So for the next month or two there are some bleed throughs here that hopefully will not happen in the next ones I forgot to use my non-bleed markers so um, just fair warning it, it it's a pet peeve of mine and I don't know why I didn't think of it while I was doing this anyway um, this is my new releases page and I added the botanical flowerish blue stuff here um, and these are four books that I was anticipating in January now we have probably my favorite uh, spreads that I make each month, which is my TBR for the month and also my video planner. This is my uh, TBR spread every single month and I have uh, adored it. I was looking on Pinterest for fun spread ideas and I never seen anybody do this, but I saw this and I was like, that is ingenious. I need to make that. So books to read right here with the blue theme we have for January. Here we have all of the books that I planned on reading in January. Um, I love this spread so stinking much and I can put the same number of books every single month that I want to read hopefully we'll read that month I love this and so then we have my video planner and so I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday or I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday and then sometimes I'll do a bonus video here and there so I put a little bonus section here um, so here are all of the dates for Wednesday videos there are all the dates for Saturday videos here you can see like my favorite books other favorite books of 2020. I didn't post on this day. The, my December ebook haul went up that day. Um, this video already went up. It was uh, Romances with Disability Rep. That one has already posted. The Saturday videos, Age Gap Romances, November and December book haul, um, December wrap up, and Historical Romance Readathon vlog. That one is already up. And um, I have to fill in the 30th very soon. I didn't post any bonus videos in January. And then I also made a TikTok section because TikTok has become a thing that I've been doing. <laughs> Um, and so here are, I need to fill this in because I didn't post, I posted more than two TikToks that month. That was my adult romance recommendations for Sibling's Best Friend. And then my book of the month picks for January, that book of the month sent me. And again, we have the flower theme here. Now this is going to be my spread um, when I finish reading all of my books for the month. So books read in January. These, this is where I'm going to list all of the books that I read in January. And then here we have my haul and then my ebook haul. Now, <laughs> there are so many books here, y'all. Again, you see all the pencil marks here. I don't normally call this many books. Many of them are for specific reading classes, like young adult books for reading classes. 10 of these books were, I believe, sent to me by book of the month. And then some of them were sent by publishers. I bought very few of these. <laughs> it looks like a lot though. And then this page is obviously where I'm going to be putting all of the ebooks that I downloaded in January were most of them are free and I will have those in my ebook calls every month. And then this spread is not my favorite. It's going to change throughout the rest of the months. I am not a fan of this. Um, the way that this is set up. Um, I just, I didn't know what to do. And so this is what I did very, I, I don't like this page. <laughs> it's going to look prettier um, in the next two months that I already have set up. Um, but even those two, not my favorite. Um, but basically this page, this spread is my favorites of the month. So I'm going to be putting a picture of my favorite book that I read that month, a picture of my favorite bookstagram picture, which right now I have not posted any bookstagram pictures. So that might be just blank. Um, and then a thumbnail picture of my favorite video. 
um, I really want to highlight the favorite things that I did each month. I have dedicated two pages, this one and then the back um, for each month blank. I've left them blank um, because I want to leave them for readathons. And so this one was the Historical Romance Readathon that happened in January. And I put all of the books that I wanted to read here. And then when you flip it over, um, this was the bingo board. I just drew it out myself because printer ink is very expensive. That is the bingo board. And then I wrote down here all of the books that I ended up reading in that week. Okay, next we have February. I'm just gonna flip through these months more quickly than uh, January's because this January is more set up than all of them. February is probably so far my favorite flower spread. I love the flowers on here. By the way, I got all the inspirations for all the flowers and the colors and everything off of Pinterest and I will link down below my bullet journal uh, Pinterest board for y'all to look at if you want to that I get my inspiration from. Um, here again is the notes and then the new releases sections and then we have my TBR section. I have half of them filled in already. And then this is my video planner. Some water got on here, so it's a little smudged, but that's okay. Um, and then this is going to be where I put all of the books that I read that month. Again, haul, ebook haul. Um, see, I changed this page this time because I really did not like how January's turned out. I don't really even like this one either. I don't really know what to do. If you have any, any, any tips of how I put like three little categories on one page, like I'd love that. Give me tips, please. And then this is gonna, I haven't filled this one out yet, but this is gonna be my Black Author Readathon spread. And then this one is going to be my Fantasy Romance Readathon spread. Both readathons I'm very excited for that happened the whole entire month of February. Now, here we have March. I love March's little lily pads and flowers. Um, here you have notes. Again, new releases. I have not filled in the lily pads and the flowers yet. Books to read. Video planner here. I have not colored in the lily pads or flowers. Again, um, and then books to read. I love this color green so much. It is so pretty. And then again, we have my haul, ebook haul. The, oh, the bullet journal comes with a little bookmark by the way um and then again we have this setup for this page um the favorites of the month i don't love this i don't i don't know what to do tell me what to do y'all i don't know um and then i'll leave two little pages blank for um any readathons that i do that month and then this is the last month that i'm going to be showing you this is what april will look like i have not colored in any of the flowers that are a part of april just for warning you um, this again is my notes page, my new releases page. Um, this is my TBR for the month video planner with some of the flowers already drawn in. And that's all I have so far. I have everything penciled in, everything titled. See, there's December everything labeled for what I want on those pages. There you go. That is all I have for this bullet journal tour. <laughs> or sharing you what is inside my reading bullet journal. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please give me any tips and tricks that you have about bullet journals. I would love to see them. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching or figuring out what is inside this bullet journal of mine. I hope it just doesn't bust at the seam because there's already a lot of stuff in here. Um, but yeah, again, let me know if you have any tips or tricks about bullet journals. I'd love to know. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. And I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.